Hey, this is Brick Dog again. I got a little project here, my 95 Bronco. I figured I'd got some time to put a little post on and uh, see how this little repair project goes. You see, I got the wheel off already. I uh, had problems with the brakes. I was doing a wheel, uh, I was rotating the wheels the other day, and I noticed I'm missing a bolt on my front brake cowl. <laughs> Dogs and cats. Anyway, anyway, so I went to replace the bolts, and I'll, let me show you what happened. Here. Anyway, here's a brake caliber. Here's what holds on the brake calipers. I got this bolt here, and this bolt here. Brake pads. Clips. I put some new clips on. And these hold the brake pads in. I went and got a bolt kit. Came with these uh, rubber boots. Came with these new uh, bushings that go inside the boots, and that's what the brake caliper slides on. Slides back and forth. Oops. So I figured, great. Okay, I just put them back in, but I want to tighten up this top bolt here, and it won't, this is one that had fallen up. And it is stripped. You can see it on the inside there, it goes all the way through. So yeah, yeah. I, got, it doesn't even, I don't even tighten it, it just goes right through. So that's what I'm going to make a repair on. The first thing I'm going to do is take the old bolts out. I only got them in their hand tight right now. I don't need to tighten them up. They're not going to tighten them up. I already loosened up the caliper, so I should just come right out. See okay, now the brake pads are held in there by these little clips. Slide out. Look at the brake pads. They're not wearing even. There's some thinner on the bottom where my thumb is than they are on the top. And I imagine that's from the bolt being gone. Took these little things out. And now you can see the inside threads there. Let me see that. So it's it in. I'm gonna fix that one. I think the bottom one's okay. I think I'll probably make it a little lock tight on there when I put them back in. But those threads are done. So first thing you gotta do is take the rotor off, starting with the hooks. But before I take the hubs off, here's something else I'm gonna address while I'm at it. As you can see, this hub got dinged up. This happened 4th of July weekend. It's rubbing against the lever there, so it'll turn with a little persuasion. With a little, but it's really hard to turn now because of that ding. I'll probably have to take a file to it or something. So that's one of the other things I'm going to take off right now. Okay, got the hub off. A little up close look, I couldn't get that last bolt out. That little screw, it's smashed up in there pretty good. Now, okay, in case you didn't know, this is an O-ring pick. Get it, McCall, uh, auto parts stores. And the, there's a ring that goes in there, if you look at my pick there. It keeps this whole assembly in there. It's just a little clip, and so you can see I Gotta dig that in there, find the end of it, and there's the end of it right there, and pull it out. See that? Huh. In case you didn't know, why it's hot out here. These are the worn manual hooks. That's all there is to it. This is the other half of it. So 
I'll probably uh, clean this up a little before I put it back. And I gotta take the bearings out of there. There's the, uh, there's this uh, piece in here. See these notches? I show you my finger. That's the nut you gotta take off. That's actually the lock nut. And it locks everything in there. And that takes a special tool. Okay, here's the uh, nut remover tool here. Spindle nut. This is gonna go. It's gonna fit right in there. Just like that. Now, the thing about putting this in there, it's pretty uh, loose. It flops around, so you gotta make it nice and steady. You don't wanna strip them things out. We'll use two hands on there, especially when tightening it. Okay, you might need a breaker bar to get this thing loose. Um, once it gets loose, it comes off real easy, but you gotta be careful, like I said, this thing doesn't slip off while you're uh, loosening it. Let's see. In case some of you don't know, um, I think on the factory auto hub there's a little clip that rides on this, this little ridge in here. There's a little thing I can see right there. I think on the auto hubs from the factory has a little clip in there you gotta take off. Alright, now you look in there, there's more stuff in there. Get your pick. Let me remove this spring in here. Okay, I got that sucker out of there. As you can see, it's got holes, and it's got this little slot there. This is a washer that locks your adjusting nut for your bearings, your adjusted wheel bearings. This is what keeps it in place. And on top of this, comes the first nut that you took off, and that really locks it down. So now I got one more nut to take off in there, and that's the adjusting nut for the wheel bearings.